Hi everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, but today we are working in my kitchen. We recently filmed an Amazon Gadgets, testing Amazon Gadgets, and I had Sean help me do it. Flip it oh. over. It said flip it over. You guys liked that video so much that we filmed a part two. Ooh, it's... <laughs> Poor Sean is so excited. Hey. <laughs> Let's try that again. Sean is so excited. I'm so excited. That's the energy we need today. We have seven items we're going to test. I have predictions in my brain of which ones are gonna be amazing, which ones are gonna be terrible. But let's see how it goes. First thing we are going to test is this kiwi. Slicer and peeler? Slicer, I don't think it peels it. It just slices oh, it, it. it. Well, it does, it, it, it takes the It takes. I guess it, it takes it out of the shell, right? Like it's the, yeah. okay. We're starting this video off with a bang. Always. Okay, kiwi up first. Let's go. Okay. All right, so in theory. So you don't really need a knife. You just take this little yeah. thing out and you cut it, right? <coughs> so it says cut it in half. Take this yep. and you just stick it here and you press in. And so you hit the bottom it. and then twist it. And it's supposed to just literally pull it out. Did I get that all right? There's one that's having a hard time coming out, but there. I don't feel like we eat kiwis very often. I love kiwi, I hate peeling them. I really like this, this is cool. Would you keep would that in your kitchen arsenal? Yeah. I would. It's not too big to store, which I like. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's like a little shot of kiwi juice too. What would you give it? 10, for sure. The second item I picked is this metal juicer thing. It's yeah. supposed to be for large fruit, like oranges. Fruit. Grapefruit, oranges. You know, it kind of, you know, I mean, you. I'm sure you've seen these things before for like lemons and limes, but much smaller, but this one's like the granddaddy of all of them. Lemon, yeah, Grapefruit, lemons, limes. lemons. That's my complaint. It's pretty big. Like if you had a pretty big quarter in there, I don't know if you could get, you couldn't get your hand, I might be able to. Like it just requires a lot of storage. I'm always thinking in terms of kitchen storage, so we'll see how it goes. All I know is that at Sip City, they also offer orange, fresh squeezed orange in their drinks, and their thing squeezes the oranges just fine and is much smaller than this. So okay, I'm, this thing is You massive. can just set it down. You don't need to you don't need to squeeze it, you just set it down. Ooh, it's <laughs> Ooh, it's <laughs> I don't think it got the bottom very Smells well. Good. Didn't get it didn't get okay. half of it. Look at that. It didn't squeeze half of that. So we can get the rest of it. So you had to flip it mid it's not mid. But well, mid. you had to yeah. squeeze. You had to flip it to get all the juices. Yeah. And you know what? Know. There's, There's still, still a lot, lot of juice, juice in, in there. there. I feel like there was a lot more juice in that. Yeah, orange. you could have gotten more out of it. But go ahead and try it. You try it. It's good. Mm. Mm. That's ooh. That one's a little dark. I'm gonna give it a five because I feel like it only squeezed it half gone, but there was still juice in that orange. It's just so big and cumbersome. I think those mechanical juicers that you put in and it like literally comes out like dry, I think those would be better. I'd say about a, five, about a five as Probably well. wouldn't yeah. add it to my kitchen arsenal. Yeah. The next item, Sean, is definitely for you to test. Look at this. I I don't know Men if I could just, cool. it's just so huge going through a watermelon. I'm not sure I could get the pressure necessary. So I'm, I'm gonna let you test it. it for us. You're just taller. There's a lot more leverage <laughs> okay, at your high, height. It's all high. It is not strength. Mm. Strength we know who's strongest. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. You cut the butts off well, so that to. it's flat, so that you can put it flat on the table. And then supposedly you just, just turn it on those. its side and crank it down just like the apple. That was actually pretty nifty. <laughs> I'm not kidding, but this is definitely my, oh wow, look at that. Wow. Wow, it literally displayed just like that. It displays so pretty. It literally just yeah. fell like that. This was watermelon hard to press down? definitely tastes better because of that slicer. Cutting watermelons is one of my least favorite things. It's kind of like cutting a turkey. It, you know, it's a lot of work. You kind of do have to be higher and have some strength to push down on it. Okay, I so it. I'm gonna give it then maybe an eight. The only negative twos for me would be size because it's just big to mm -hmm. store kind of pain. But you leverage. could do honeydew melon, you could do cantaloupes, any kind of melon you could do this with. Okay. I'll give it an eight too. Man, I turn around for two seconds. Sean's gone. Where'd you go? We're supposed to be filming a video. Apparently he, he's taking a break. No, I still have my job to do. <laughs> we are now testing a corn decobber. Is that a word? Shucker? What? Corn shucker? No, shucking is taking the... No, that's husking. Shucking and Isn't that husking the husk? is the same thing. <laughs> Whatever, we're getting the kernels off the corn cob, but we had to cook our corn first. I don't normally do microwave corn, but this is just for testing purposes. Then we're going to test this guy. 
looks like a donut holder. It does look like a little donut mold or something, but it's it's got these little blades on this end. <clears throat> My concern is, it, I just don't feel like it's gonna hold very much corn. It's not. Before you'd have to It'll stop and cob. dump. It'll be one cob's worth. That would be annoying. So it's like personal use, not really for like- Mass use, everybody's. big families. This on your cutting board like that, and you put this in here and you go like this and just go, whoop. Um, I think it forgot like two thirds of the kernels. It didn't even well, get- Well, I guess it depends upon the size of your- I mean, it got like some of the deep kernels here, but it missed so many of the kernels. Okay. We're gonna try doing a raw cob. This is a little thicker, so it might be a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it, a bigger cob was actually good. I have an There's opinion. still a lot of corn in here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd give it a five. It sort of did it. It got corn off the cob, just not like it left a lot of waste. I mean, it's not, not that much money, it. but I wouldn't want to store it, clean it, reuse it every single cob. Yeah. For me, it would be a no. I agree. Okay, Sean, the next one's gonna be an easy test because we actually- We use this already. <laughs> own one, yeah. it, ours broke. Yeah. But we actually own one and keep one in our kitchen. It's an olive oil mister. You spray it, you can get exact stop amount it. that you want on it. Okay, so let's demo. Stop, 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 oh. stop! Go ahead and oil this. So we've got our oil in here, and then in theory you just, you know, psh, psh, and it mists nicely. We're gonna show you on this clean black plate how it mists. Can you see that? So it just gives you like a nice little burst of oil instead of like blobs. Okay, let's rank it. I think it's worthwhile. I, I don't like buying a lot of olive oil and have it lost during cooking. You can spray the exact amount you want on your food. You save it. So I put a nine for sure. I would say nine out of 10 too for me. I mean, obviously we added it to our kitchen. This is the second time we bought it. So. Yes, love the misting feature for just generalized cooking with olive oil. All right, Sean, next mm -hmm. up is something for our microwave. And actually, Camry has tried this before and she's the one that kind of recommended it to us. What is it? It's this lady. I think it's called Angry Mama. Cause she looks like an angry mama. But you fill it with vinegar and water and you put it in the microwave and apparently she steams out of her head to help loosen up the dirt and grime that gets like kip cooked on your microwave. So you put vinegar in it? Uh-huh. And, and then in theory, you're supposed to be able to just like wipe the microwave down super easy when you're done. It says vinegar right here and water right here. So it's really easy to tell what to fill to. We removed angry mama's face Thanks. and head. So vinegar goes first. Vinegar first to the first line? Yep. It's good. My mom made us clean windows with vinegar and newspapers. Ooh, my mom used to do that too and it would always stink. It stink, but it the worked. The day you had to clean windows, uh, I think I got smell. a little too much in there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Your face back on. Angry mama. Here we go. So this you don't keep in there all the time. You just no. put it in no, and you can when see it's dirty. Dirty. There's some smears back there. So we got a little yeah, dirt. In there. Seven minutes. It's a long mm -hmm. time. Oh my gosh, it smells. It's not that bad. It smells good. <clears throat> oh yeah, it is a little hard to breathe. It You're says gonna take get her a... out by her arms because they're less hot. Can't tell how much of her is gone. I don't know. Is it wiping off easy? Not especially. I mean, it's coming off, but it didn't get it all. It wasn't especially easy to wipe. All right, I'm not saying that it didn't like soften <laughs> the hard stuff. It didn't get it all off, but I mean, look, there was, we didn't add anything to it. It's just the paper towel and it was getting off stuff that had been crusted I know, but I just am not sure that a <clears throat> wet paper towel wouldn't have done the same thing. Okay, give it a one to 10 and it still stinks. Maybe a six or a seven. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm undecided. See the similarities Why is it an angry Why mom? is it angry mom? <laughs> okay, the last one up is uh, supposed to be a fruit purification system, like electrolyzer. Sean's trying to figure out it's if it's using ozone OH or- OH ion purification technology, and I'm wondering if that just means ozone. But you're supposed to- And soak. ozone kills all bacteria so that fruit lasts longer, I do know that. You're supposed to soak the fruit in water with this little purification Billy thing. Bottle, so. And it's supposed to like help remove, it says on the box. I'd be curious if all the little bugs in the strawberries Sterilization come out is 99.9%. Cool. So it's supposed to help them clean basically your fruit. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. We're gonna test it up against just vinegar and baking soda. Okay, okay now we're gonna do our tester bowl with just vinegar. I just do like a little splashy splash. Okay, you put some vinegar in, now you're putting a little bit of what? Baking soda. Baking soda. And you can see the reaction. Ooh, it's fixing, yeah. It's purifying and cleansing the fruit. So we're just okay. gonna let that sit in the baking soda and vinegar. Okay. This side, we're gonna try this little water 
well, I don't know, purifier. And we're just gonna let it sit for like five minutes. There's little bubbles and they look like little cloudy, see it right in there? Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can get in closer. Yep. Okay, we dumped the water out. This was the this is this that guy. Yeah. This was baking soda and vinegar. Mm -hmm. So you can see they're both dirty. They both pulled, you know, some of the little fruit, dirt, and things. But this one's a this, little. This one almost looks, looks like it has a little charcoal in it. This one looks well. Yeah, I wonder if this is supposed to have been soaked first. I don't know. I, I don't think there's charcoal in here. This to me it looks like it pulled the color of the fruit off a little bit more. This was this the was purifier thing. It looks pretty, yeah, good. pretty good. The raspberries, which I feel like are hard to wash and not get squishy, they're pretty intact. This bowl, the raspberries are really looking sad. Okay, final review. What would you do? Keep using this? I see the same amount of floaties in bowl. I just think this one looks darker, so it's gotten a lot more contaminants out. I don't know, eight out of 10. I feel like it definitely cleaned as well as baking soda and vinegar. My only question would be like, I wish I knew a little more about the science behind it and how it's working, I guess. Well, Sean, we have tested and tested and tested. I feel like we learned a lot. There's a few mm -hmm. we're gonna put in our kitchen. There's a few we're not. All right, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that. And you can find our first video where we tried other Amazon products by clicking over here. And we'll catch y'all later. Bye guys.